V-Shift is a defensive mechanic that consumes one stock of V-Gauge, to parry and attack and distance yourself from the opponent. V-Shift input is MK and HP. It can be performed at any time you're able to move freely on the ground, but it won't come out if you hold any directional input, so you can't do V-Shift while blocking. It can avoid throw. And the first part of V-Shift can parry any strike or projectile attacks. Successful parry triggers the slow motion effect. Restores half of V-Gauge. And the character becomes fully invincible until the end of animation. Use this to escape mix-up situation. Or to punish various attacks. By pressing or holding MK and HP after a successful parry, you can perform V-Shift Break. It is a forward-moving attack that does gray life damage on hit. Use this when you can't go for normal punish after the parry. Especially against projectile attacks. V-Shift Break is pretty safe to use. Except in some specific situations. After the parry part, frame 1 to 9, the character will be in a counter hit state during the recovery. So, you can delay your attack to avoid the parry and punish the recovery. Technically, you can do a meaty throw and still have time to punish V shift, but the same setup won't punish backdash. So, don't be too afraid to use V shift when you want to escape. Try to mix V-Shift usage with other defensive options as well. Lastly, find out what you can punish with V-Shift. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.